everyone. Um, but I want to thank you so much for coming here today. I want to thank Jared and Laner Analytics for having me. I want to thank my friend Dan Chen for pushing me to submit something to this conference. So I'm really excited to be here. Um, my name is Samantha Tyner. Um, I'm a AAAS Science and Technology Policy Fellow at the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And if you want to know more about this awesome program, please come up and talk to me about it afterwards. It's really great if you are a PhD and you're looking to get into government. So today I'm going to be talking about page down. And I have a few disclaimers before I get started here. Uh, first of all, want to talk about my background. You know, I didn't write this thing that I'm going to talk about. It's the work of three guys at our, at our studio. So I know that there's some people from, I think there's some people from our studio in the audience. So if I make a mistake, uh, please forgive me. Um, but what basically what I'm going to um, be talking about is this thing called page down. And it's this really cool R package that allows you uh, to write paged HTML. So you can print off a paged HTML document so that it looks like you made it from a PDF, but it's actually um, from HTML. So anyways, I'm also going to make some assumptions about you uh, in this talk. So some assumptions about you. Uh, firstly, um, they're not going to be accurate 100% of the time, so I apologize in advance for that. First, I'm going to assume that you're at least familiar with LaTeX as a thing that is used for making PDFs and writing things in math. Uh, then I'm going to assume that you're familiar with an R Markdown document, that you know kind of what YAML is, kind of what R Markdown is, and you know how to make an R code chunk. Uh, and finally, I'm going to assume that uh, you'll at least enjoy some of my pop culture references. <laughs> and if not, I apologize for that, you know, millennials, right? <laughs> Um, so before I talk about page down, I obviously have to talk about LaTeX, but why would I spend time talking about LaTeX when I'm trying to talk about this cool new thing called page down? Uh, and it, the idea is, I got to give you some background, right? I have to give you some background on why we need page down, and I need you to trust me, and I can tell you that I use LaTeX a lot. I loved it for many, many, many years until very recently when our markdown started becoming a thing, and now I use our markdown pretty much exclusively. Uh, so let's start at the beginning. Um, so this is me in 2011. I'm the one with the bangs. Um, and this is my REU, which is a research experience for undergraduates. I was at Valparaiso University. And this is me with my friends, Mike and Casey, and our advisor, uh, Laura Pudwell. And what we were doing was we were doing math for fun over the summer, as one does when one is a giant nerd like us. Uh, and so this poster was the culmination of our entire summer's work. You know, we spent hours and hours critiquing this thing, you know, putting an H space here, putting a V space there, you know, one, one block here, one block there. Um, so that was th the summer of LaTeX. I totally fell in love with LaTeX. I loved it after that. I used it in all my math homework assignments. I used it in all my graduate school homework assignments to take notes in classes, everything. So I totally fell in love with it. And I even, because I am a huge nerd, I even had a favorite command, which is phantom. Anybody familiar with this command, LaTeX users? Okay, a couple people. Um, so this is kind of a crazy command. Don't know where it comes from, but I discovered it when I first learned LaTeX. And hence, every time I use LaTeX, it might show up a little bit. I'm a little bit better now. but. So the idea with this thing is you can add any amount of white space exactly where you need it, regardless of the template you're using, of any of the fiddly LaTeX rules, whatever. So you can just add white space at random. Um, and so sometimes it looked like this phantom with two little A's in there, just a little bit of space. And then sometimes when I was really frustrated, it looked like this. <laughs> and then quite often it ended up looking like this. <laughs> just phantoms everywhere, and who knows what space is coming from where. Um, in the poster I showed at the beginning, there were only 16 uses of phantom, which I thought was pretty restrained, actually, looking back. Um, but dealing with LaTeX, you know, templates is kind of just an annoyance, really. It, like, they're really nice and they're really beautiful. Um, but sort of some of the, the tricky behaviors is really more of an annoyance than anything else. But there are some larger problems with LaTeX, and that's what I'm going to talk about now. Um, so first and foremost, Communication has fully shifted, almost completely, from printed methods to web-based electronic methods. LaTeX is for printing, and HTML is for the web. So we need to switch to something for HTML. Um, again, getting tables out of PDF is a huge problem for me in my experience. Um, supposedly, there are tools that do this super, super well. I haven't found one that does it well consistently all of the time. So that's a problem, in my opinion. 
And finally, um, LaTeX is actually inefficient. So here's this paper from a few years ago uh, that found that typing a document in LaTeX is actually slower than typing it in Word. So this is the abstract. The link is there if you want to go visit it. Um, but what you're seeing here is that the authors conclude that even experienced LaTeX users, so people like me and other academics, um, they may suffer a loss in productivity when LaTeX is used relative to other document preparation systems. So there are valid criticisms of this paper out there, um, but the point is pretty compelling, right? We, we think this LaTeX is this great, awesome tool, um, but it's actually slower than we think it is. Um, and I still switch back and forth occasionally between LaTeX and Markdown to do things. Markdown does feel faster to me. Um, and although I'm still fairly anti-Microsoft Word, I use it every day because I work in the government now. Uh, so, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, if that doesn't convince you that LaTeX is inefficient, that it's taking up so much of your time, consider the space that it's taking up on your computer. Um, the last time I looked at MCTEC, it was 200 gigabytes for Windows and 50 gigabytes for Mac. So that's a lot of space, right? Uh, so it's absolutely it's inefficient. Um, but that being said, LaTeX does have some obvious benefits. First and foremost, um, it's beautiful at typesetting. And that's what it was made for. It was made for typesetting books with lots of math. And it's really it is excellent at that, does that really well, cannot be beat, right? Um, it's pretty ubiquitous. So in more quantitative fields, especially, you know, everybody in academia uses LaTeX. It's inescapable often. Um, many journals do have custom LaTeX templates. And then it can just seem like it's not worth the trouble to avoid it. And also, you kind of get this feeling of belonging, right? And there's a the belonging is a link to an article that talks more about this. Um, but when you learn LaTeX, and this has been at least my experience, is that, you know, you have all this hieroglyphics on your screen, right? And all of a sudden you press this button or you press a couple buttons on your computer and voila, you get this beautiful typeset document with all these beautiful mathematical formulas and you just get this rush of academic superiority that runs over you, right? <laughs> and so that, that feels good, right? Um, but maybe all of this is more of a, you know, a cult. <laughs> but you know, we're only human and belonging feels good, right? So this is an advantage of LaTeX, right? It does what it does well. It's pretty much everywhere in some, some circles and you know, you feel like you belong to something. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's talk about page down. So first we have to talk about why are we gonna use page down. Page down. So hopefully, and what, what motivates it? So you've been paying attention for the first part of this talk, um, despite all the technical difficulties. Um, but why are you gonna use page down? Well, the main reason is that uh, the web has taken over everything. It's much faster to share things over the web. It's more eco-friendly to share things over the web. Um, but printing is not ever gonna go away. We're still gonna have it. I mean, we still use fax machines all the time for medical purposes, right? Printing is never gonna go away. Um, so how do we move these two arenas closer together? And that's the motivation behind page down. And now most people would be pretty intimidated by this research, um, but not the guys who wrote <laughs> page down, right? So they're saying, you see this question, can we print a book with HTML and CSS? And these guys say, yes, we can. <laughs> um, another motivation for page down is that printing from the web can get pretty ugly, right? So you have this, printed off version with all this stuff on the top, scrawled on the bottom, and then you have all these boxes moved all over the place and it looks nothing like the beautiful web that you saw. Um, and so that page down is a way to make printing from the web prettier, so that's another motivation. And how are we gonna do this? And in this section, I make no claim to being an expert in understanding things that are HTML, CSS, I'm not a web developer, I'm just somebody who really, really, really likes R and I like to use it for everything. <laughs> I've used it to send emails, everything. So this page.js is a, an open source library that is gonna paginate content in the browser. So it's a fairly new thing. Um, and it's also controlled with CSS, right? CSS is what controls the style behind all things HTML. Um, and then in an HTML page, you can sort of see that these are, if you look at all these boxes, those are all different CSS classes. So you can get, it's pretty strict structure. But you can see that you can control each one of these little boxes here with CSS and with your um, in page down with HTML. So how do we use it? Um, this is two lines of code. There are less than 10 in this talk. So you just install it from CRAN or from the GitHub repo and for the development version like any other R package. 
Um, and then you can use it right away. So the easiest way to do it is to go into R Studio. You know, you just create a new R Markdown file and you pick this uh, paged HTML document. That's like the default, that's like your standard R Markdown document for paged HTML. And so like all, all things in R Markdown, a page down document is gonna start with a YAML header and it contains markdown and code chunks. And that's it. You know, all you have to do really, the only difference here between a page down document and any other R markdown document that you might be using is just these three lines of highlighted YAML. That's it. So um, there's also lots of templates. Uh, you can see if you go, if we go back a few slides, you can see there's a uh, Poster, a couple poster options, there's a paper option, a few other options, so you can just use the templates. So in my experience, the templates are super friendly. Um, you just edit the YAML, put your own name, your own date, whatever, and then you change, maybe there's some lore some in there somewhere, so you change some of that and you're good to go. Um, the, the really tricky part comes when there's any sort of customization that you wanna do with CSS. So that does get really, really tricky, and again, I'm not a web developer, not an expert in this area, so do go to the page down website and the page down website the page down website is a uh, I'm just gonna take this off the page down website is itself a page down document so go see that um, again one to, to render page down uh, one of the things that you want to do uh, is oh that's fine um, this is one of the trickiest things so if you go to use page down just remember this slide that's really the only thing you need to know um, so it needs a web server to view it. So instead of hitting knit and opening it up in Google Chrome, you can't do that, you'll see nothing. Um, so instead, run this thing in the command line. So what you do is you have your uh, R Markdown document open. Here I have my CV that's in page down. And then you run this uh, infinite moon reader thing, line of code in the console, and then it opens up in the viewer. Done, that's it. And then you can open it up in Google and do all of that. Okay, so now we can do some fun things, which are page down examples. Uh, so first, this is my web CV. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I like it so much more, oh, whoops. I like it so much more than all of my other, um, than my other like latex CV, which it was like, I had spent hours on this thing making it beautiful, right? And this was like 20 minutes just typing things. It's really, really nice. Um, my favorite part, was you can see these little icons next to everything. That's my favorite part, is picking the icons. <laughs> I'm particularly proud of, let's see, this one right here for leadership and service. I'm really proud of that one. Um, but anyways, that I mean, all you do is do fiddly little things like that and it just does it all for you. So that's really, really nice, right? That's one of the major advantages of Page Down. Um, also, you can do business cards. Uh, so I happened to make this business card for my partner. He's on the job one right now. We moved out here for my new job, um, so he needs a job. So if you know anybody hiring lawyers, right there. <laughs> but this took me all of three minutes to do in Page Down. It's pretty easy. Um, but we have to conclude with some of the disadvantages of Page Down. Uh, like I said, you know, LaTeX is very, very superior in these things. Um, it's very dominant. So we, we do have to talk about the disadvantages of page down. So first of all, it's brand new. I'm not gonna sing the song, but you know the song. <laughs> uh, it's not well developed yet. This thing that it's based on, the page.js is still pretty under development. Page down itself is still under development. UA just premiered it at our studio conf earlier this year, right? And LaTeX has about 40, 40 years, 50, bordering on 50 years on it, so, you know, it's a baby, a baby shark. <laughs> um, another a disadvantage of page down <laughs> is that it's very strict. Um, so it's very dependent on exactly precise CSS classes, kind of like how I showed you with all those little boxes at the on the page down document. Um, and it can be fiddly with the zoom level, so if you're zoomed in too far, things will move around, all sorts of things. Um, customization is really hard. So that's what another problem is with, with page down. Um, so you can picture all of your content is a cute little girl with pigtails and page down is Miss Trunchbull, just launching her around wherever she feels like it. Um, I actually did try to recreate that poster that I showed you at the beginning that was made in LaTeX 
it, it didn't work. Um, I don't know if I just didn't set enough time for it or I was trying to fit, you know, this square peg of LaTeX into this beautiful, you know, round hole of page down, but it just didn't, it just didn't work. Um, but, you know, so templates are very strict. That's another disadvantage of page down. You have to design specifically the poster. You have to design it um, with the, the page down template in mind. And finally, uh, change is hard. People love tech researchers that have been using it for years and it does the job. People don't like having to learn new tools, right? Case in point, why does our iPhone keyboard look like this? It's because many, many years ago when we were doing typewriters, all the bars got stuck together, so they had to put them like this. And if you switch to a more sensical, like alphabetical order keyboard, it might be faster, but it's just not worth the hassle to switch. So this is how we do things now. It's kind of the same thing with LaTeX. This is just how we do things now. Um, so I'd like to conclude here um, by saying that I still like LaTeX. Um, it's still beautiful. It still does a really good job. Uh, it is bulky and it can be inefficient. So keep that in mind. But I really hope that you will start switching to page down because I really like it. It's forward thinking. It is flawed, but it's really a lot of fun. Um, and I hope that, you know, as we move forward and Markdown becomes more and more popular and like, especially with reproducibility, I think that's really important. Um, so I'll close by saying that. And I just want to say thank you so much for putting up with the technical issues. Um, and thank you. And you can see the slides and find me online. Thank you so much.